It was the day of Dieselworks Montague's birthday, and Thomas was dozing in the sun. Percy came up to him. He was also attending the birthday party and was surprised to find Thomas sleeping. Thomas had a very important job to do for the party, and he was going to be late. Percy had to do something. Wah! Oh! Oh! Percy! What was that for? Thomas, don't you remember? It's Dieselworks 123's birthday today. You were meant to pick up the cake. And you haven't. You've been dozing in the sun and now you're running late. Cinders and ashes! I must go! Oh, I don't want to be late! Okay, I've got the cake. Now just to get to the party. Where's Thomas? He thought he'd be here by now. Look, here he comes. Go on, everyone! I've got the cake! Okay, I'm not late, I'm not late. Huh? Oh, Thomas, you've ruined the cake! Oh, no. Hey guys, it's Dieselworks123 here. And I know this video is long overdue, but I am going to show you my birthday presents. My birthday was on the 24th of March, and I've got a, a fair bit here. Um, I'll start off with the non-Thomas stuff, shall I? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, first off, I got series of oh, the first edition of this really cool magazine series. It's called the Batmobile Automo oh, Batman Automobile Collection. You get a really cool magazine. And best of all, the main purpose to get these is you get these really cool die-cast cars. Um, you can see the little Batman there. Oh! Oh! Phone reflection! Phone reflection! You can see everything. Oh god. Um, yeah, it's a really cool car. Um, I do like Batman. I'm I'm not too familiar with it, but I do like it. Um, and these cars are just fantastic. They're so well detailed. I'll probably put a photo up somewhere in this video, probably here or something, but at the moment I'm not sure. So, got the Batman stuff. Next I got um, the Revell Harbour Tugboat Model Kit. Um, well, this was a really cool model. I first saw it on YouTube, I think, and realised how cool it looked. But that, that's just the box, though. Um, the real model is still a work in progress. Um, yeah, like, it's nowhere near finished. I am still working on it. But when it is finished, I'm pretty sure that it's going to please a lot of people as it is of something that I really like, and it... Well, you were going to see it anyway. Yes, I am making the model into 10 cents from Tugs. Like I said, it is still a work in progress. None of it is glued down yet, so apart from the hull, that's the only thing that's been glued. Like, the stack can come off, the head can come off, and the cab can come off. Um, I have modified this model slightly so that the head can move. So yes, um, I have put a few face, uh, a few photos of this up on Facebook. Um, but yes, I am still working on this. Hopefully, it'll be done soon. Um, and now, what you guys clicked on here for the to oh, nearly the Thomas stuff. It starts with. This next section starts with Thomas stuff. Um, DVDs that I got. Um, I got season three of Family Guy, which was really nice. I love Family Guy. Um, I just need seasons one, two, and four now to complete my collection. I've got series three, as you hear. 
Uh, but before I had season 3, I had seasons 5 to 12 on DVD. So, and there's three discs. And I think there's 21 episodes over three discs. Next is one of my absolute favourite movies. If not, it is my favourite movie. That is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. This is such a funny movie. It's got so much action, so much comedy, and it's got that sort of old-style video game theme to it. If you're not familiar with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, I'll probably and I put a link to a wikia page about it, but it's basically about Scott and he meets that girl there. Her name's Ramona Flowers. Literally the girl of his dreams because he has a dream about her. The next day she, he actually sees her. But in order for them to go out, he has to defeat, aka kill, her seven evil ex-boyfriends. Yeah. Boyfriends, eh? Or Seven Evil Exes, if you want to call it. But Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, awesome movie. And it's one of those DVDs that have a double-sided case. So you can choose the one that's in there or the one that's actually already on there. So I'm sticking with that. And now, what you guys came here for, the Thomas stuff. Still on DVDs. Um, I got the UK released imports of series... 9 and 10 to add to my imported Thomas DVD collection. I've got quite a few of them now. Um, so that's the season 10 picture, which is from, I believe, Hector the Horrid, which is odd because Hector the Horrid isn't in season 10, it's in season 11. So that's the front, Thomas and Rosie. That's the back. Pretty standard. And then we go to season 9, which has a beautiful picture of Thomas, Percy and James. It looks fantastic. Same sort of layout, and definitely identical on the back. And... Just for the hell of it, I will show you the New Zealand release of season 9 and 10. That's what season 9 and 10 are in New Zealand. That's season 9, that's season 10. The UK definitely had better covers. But, yes. So, I got them. Um, I'll do the only um, Trackmaster I, um, item I got, and I got Trackmaster Porter. I've painted the buffers because I hated how they weren't painted. Painted them on uh, and the coupling as well. I painted them on both the front and the rear. And he's really quiet. But something that I found out is here's my take and play porter. Yes, I've converted it. Okay. Um, what's interesting about the take and play porter and the trackmaster porter is that the faces are the same size. It's really odd. Yes, Porter. Now the only wooden railway item that I got, and it's my second one of this, and that is The Adventures of Thomas. Um, you may have seen my review of this pack. Here's the back. And if you don't believe, this is my second one. There are the three that you saw in my review. And those are the boxed ones. I got this for collector's purposes. I am not opening this one. And I'll put these ones back on the table where they were with all my other Thomases. Okay. Um, this was a strange one. It came with the Thomas and Friends bathtub tracks set, I think that's what it's called, and it came with this Thomas, uh, lovely little Thomas, CGI face, 
nice details and it's got some rollers underneath so it does roll along um, yes but what's interesting is that it is pretty much the exact same size as the Thomas that you get in the coal hopper launcher said Thomas so yes very interesting and now the last three items are all taken please um, I got a standard Thomas which is in the new, the new packaging once again collectors purposes won't be opened there's the back pretty standard just to take and play Thomas and finally I got two of the new style talking take and plays first up I got Diesel 10. It's a good model where, like, in the terms of dialogue and in looks apart from the face. The face is horrible. And if I get my other two Diesel 10s from Take Along and Take and Play, this is the old style talking Take and Play. You compare the faces these two look great. That one just looks wrong. Hello, I'm Diesel 10. I'm Diesel 10. <laughs> if you want to hear what the new Diesel 10 says, um, drop me a comment and I might possibly do a video with the two Take and Play Talking Diesel 10s comparing what they say. And finally, out of all my birthday presents, I got the new style Take and Play Talking Thomas. You may have seen my video comparing the, the new style with the old style, but let's just have a listen anyway. So yes, there's a new feature with these new Take and Play talking engines though. When you hold down the talking button, they'll make a chuffing sound. I'm ready to be really useful. Then you push the button again to make it stop. So yes, that was all my birthday presents. Um, if you had to ask me which one was my favourite, um, it would probably be a tie between the two imported DVDs or the new Take and Play Talking Thomas. So that was the video guys, I know it's been a bit long, it's 12 minutes. Oh, so much editing. But, thank you for watching, guys. And I will, just while I'm, I'm talking, I would just like to say that I will not be uploading videos as regularly as I used to, because I'm now in a graphic design course. It's a bit like school, but it's not. Um, and that takes up quite a lot of my time now. So, I will still be uploading videos, just not as often. It'll probably be, I don't know, once, maybe twice a week now, maybe. So, yes, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you all next time.